The Photoshop arbitrary map effect is found under the color correction category. And this is just a legacy effect. It only exists to be compatible with older project files that are actually using this effect still. Really, the curves effect is what you wanna use. But what you can do with this, if I apply it to this photo, is load in an arbitrary map file, which you obviously need to have one in order to have this effect do anything. If I turn it off and on, see it's not doing anything. But you can actually create an arbitrary map right inside of After Effects using the curves effect. So if I bring this in and I just color grade this a little bit, I'll go to the red channel, add a little S curve, go to the green channel and do the same thing. And then maybe the blue channel, I'll raise the shadows, lower the highlights. So now we have this overall color grade look. I can convert this to an arbitrary map by clicking on this little pencil icon and then click this save button right down here. I'll just leave this at the default name of pencil.amp, which stands for arbitrary map file. Click save. And now that that's on my computer, I can turn off this curves effect, go to Photoshop arbitrary map and click on options. Then I just need to navigate to that file that I just saved, click on open. And that exact same color grade is now being applied to this photo. I don't have any of those curve controls to mess with it, but I can shift the phase, which is kind of an interesting look, but it's not necessarily something you want to do. I'll set that back down to zero. And the only other control we have is apply phase map to alpha, which my image doesn't have any alpha. So if I just added a hole right in the middle, change this to subtract and then feather it out, then shift around the phase and check that box on. You can see it's now making a difference on how that's applied. I don't exactly know what the benefit of this would be. Like I said, this is a legacy effect. There's no real reason to use it if you're starting from scratch because you could just apply this color correction with a curves effect or any number of other color correction effects and have much more flexibility with it. But that's everything you need to know about Photoshop Arbitrary Map. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.